So uh, <laughs> yeah, I think every every man for itself. And, yeah, uh, of course. As it should be. Yeah, as it should be. So no, but the boat is great. Uh, super well set. So unfortunately, there is no excuses for me. <laughs> so <laughs> if I suck, I suck. <laughs> there is no no uh, no debate about that. So yeah, no pressure. Okay, so the start is behind us. Uh, the start is behind us, and we are driving downwind. Uh, in uh, head of a fleet, there is uh, the winner from the last year. Just ahead of us, he has a symmetric spinnaker, so in these conditions, it's a bit tricky to keep up. Lars Peter is just next to me, just in front. And uh, as you can see, the rest of the boat are well behind us, which is where we want them. It's great. So, lots of jibes, a bit tiring, not really fit. So, uh, so uh, yeah, but I said it's going quickly. We're doing uh, eight knots on the speedo, but I'm not sure. I think it's a bit optimistic. Um, have a good current, which is good, obviously. And uh, yeah, so far, so good. So, real, real proper traffic jam with. Uh, a fish cape, a sapphire, a mini. We all gathered here for a little rundown. Well, at least not lonely, I guess. Um, we're actually catching up nicely to the leader, uh, which is not bad. It looks like it's going to be uh, a good race ahead of us. So, uh, so good, good, good. Things settled down a little bit. Um, there was a transition zone just at the Cape uh, with no wind and we lost uh, most of the other guys there. Um, so last Peter is just down there. Uh, so 27s are currently holding first and second. The broker just behind us. Uh, I guess as long as we can keep the fractional code zero on, uh, we should be okay. So, but what we do expect is the wind should uh, Head us uh, when we go towards the north of the islands, and we'll be upwind. And I'm, I do think that he's going to catch us again. All right, so that's uh, that's it from on board uh, Frida. Uh, it's the name of the boat that uh, order very generously uh, uh, offered to uh, to to land, and uh, and I think at the moment. We are keeping him proud, hopefully. Um, then we are now in the channel, uh, broad reaching, but close reaching. Uh, and uh, with a bit of luck, uh, we will still we'll have a, the current still with us when we go to the infamous bridges. So our grand, ground support team <laughs> is on the bridge here. Yes, you cannot run to the cross track. Okay, so it's a proper rock and roll. Uh, it's a little bit of current against the wind. It's maybe 17, 18 knots of wind. So we're still head to head with Lars Peter. Oh, well, that's fun. So it's two in the morning. Uh, you can see the, I don't know if you see the boat. So Vidor is just there. And uh, sail reaching, which uh, actually gain us another half a knot of speed in order to. Catch up with Vidar, who was very quick. What? Well, very quick in the night, going upwind. Well, good morning, if you can call it good. Uh, stuck in front of the last bridge. Bridges again.
Uh, it's uh, actually the same place we are stuck with no wind in the first race. So there's no wind, it's current against us. We are one mile, one mile to the bridge and uh, we are here from I think like five o'clock in the morning and now it's seven thirteen. All right. And Johan saying so two hours, so everybody should be here. Shit. Going between uh, 50 and 51, as you can see on the on the bridge. So that should actually be 13.5 meters. So a whole meter of extra space. Oh yeah, there's definitely more than like a meter and a half over the antenna okay so under the bridge we are this must be the train and we have a little bit of good current that's why we anyway we made it through but now <laughs> when this is done it doesn't look like on the other side of the bridge there is any improvement in the wind conditions. So, um, you hey. Well, uh, so this is the other side of the bridge. Looks completely different to the other side of the bridge. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's it. There is another, I think like 20 miles something like that to the finish and uh, and the good thing is it's like in the old times in the minis it's uh, you don't know your position I mean you don't know what your place in rankings uh, there is maybe 100 meters visibility I almost got killed by some jolly fisherman motoring on their powerboat so since I don't have time to film when I'm working on the full deck Maybe best show you what is the working process. <laughs> so uh, we have code zero, uh, fractional, which is still uh, waiting to maybe go up instead of the big spinnaker. The stay sail, the jib, spinnaker bag. Uh, that's it. There is only a small spinnaker still left inside. But the wind is changing a lot, so we change the sails a lot. So it's inevitable. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna go for the code zero. I think uh, the big car is just too big. Well, we'll see. Autopilot, impressively, is doing his job without even setting it. Uh, just basically, I never even played with all the settings, just press auto. Uh, I think the boat is pretty auto stable, that obviously does the job. Um, so, uh, yeah. Good. Good, some fun before the finish. Yeah, usually I hate socks. <laughs> now even more so. <laughs> All kinds of socks. Uh, and of course with a with a furring jib and the sock and oh, fuck, uh, yeah. the line. Got so, caught in the uh, corner. Shit. <laughs> Oh, and then there's the, there's the code, and the, uh, there's oh, <laughs> so many things scanning from your mast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the wind sometimes it looked like you could keep it, and sometimes you couldn't. No, it's like uh, oh, it was pretty amazing to look at the, the tracking because it was like doing one, 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 and then suddenly five, six, and then well, now they are going, yeah, and yeah. then. <laughs> Ten minutes later, one, no, one and a half. Yeah. <laughs> How they call it, cruel and unusual punishment. Yeah. Everybody, everybody. Well, well sailed, everybody.